Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Up Next. Now I'm gonna come back with another video. Hey man, say man. Look, first link in the description, man. Make sure you go cop, make sure you go shop. Up next satin line beanies. Also up next multi-purpose beanie on my head. I wear this 24-7. Y'all know this, man. First link in the description under clothing brand. Go cop. Alright. We got that. We got a shy rack wrapper. Wet them up. Caught with a switch after beating four bodies. If y'all want to watch this full video, make sure I go to end the sentence. Here's the title right here without any interruptions. But this is a reaction video, so y'all will be getting my official original reaction. I also want you guys, I also want you guys' reaction in the comment section down below. So don't hesitate to comment, all right? We can debate. Just share your opinions in the comment section down below. Let's hop straight into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another. We pausing already, stupid Andy. But not for real. We got we got another dumb uh, 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 rapper, ignorant rapper. How you beat four bodies and get caught with a switch? Probably the same switch that beat the four bodies. Nigga wasted his money. Episode of EOS is 1090J. No rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on Chicago rapper. Tonight, Jake is a. Who it's beat a funny four white boy. bodies and was just <laughs> caught with a switch. He just like, he, he like, January. Like, now. if you just look at, if you just look at him, Body. without tattoos, you a swear to God he a cop. Swear to God he a cop. <laughs> nah, nigga, you gotta be a cop. With his tattoos, that's why he got the tattoos. He, you know. <laughs> and was just caught with a switch. January 19th, 2024. PRE? The feds is that a PRE on this on this on, on an apartment what type in Chicago's of chain that is? Canaryville neighborhood located on the south side. As agents began to execute the warrant with Oh, that's 150. That's uh um, building. A man would be observed uh, leaning out of a window, throwing a firearm onto the roof of the building. No way. The weapon was photographed before being recovered. Got him. Determined to be a Glock with a switch. Got him. The switch turning the semi-automatic handgun so into automatic. a machine gun. Sheesh. The man seen throwing the Glock would be none other than 26-year-old Maurice Harris, Not that smart. who's also known as the Chicago rapper Drench, AKA Wet Em Up. Wet Em Up's notorious reputation went viral back in 2017, starting with the murder of his father. March 29th, 2017, it was just after- Any nigga that posed like this, stay away from him. Any nigga that pose like this, like like on their knees, like squatting down, stay away from them. They've been to jail too many times. Stay away. 11 in the morning, when 37-year-old <laughs> Jerry Jacobs was walking down the sidewalk in Chicago's South Shore neighborhood. That's when a unless they got like a unless they got like a kid, like you know what I'm saying, like they posing with a the kid, they posing with their son, posing with their daughter. But niggas be posing on their knees, squatting down, doing hand signals, you know, gang signals. <laughs> Gang signs, stupid ass nigga. The cop pulled up and four yeah, five men years got just for gang bang. Fire. Stupid. Jacobs was shot in the right side of his body. If you gang bang over thirty years old, the hospital you, you, over four sad. blocks away, rushed into surgery. Over twenty one. Jacobs you gang banging and you over twenty one. You sad. Night when Swear things took a tragic turn in the early morning at three forty a.m. Jacobs was pronounced dead. News would break. He was a documented gang member. Look at this shit. No Look at this shit. It never fails. Any nigga that squat down and take a picture like that is destined to go. To either go to jail or, 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 or die. Straight up. I'm not capping. Both suspects were in custody. And within 12 hours of Why his they squat death, like that, they probably his son went him up. Allegedly got his revenge. Hmm. Chicago neighborhood rocked by gun violence. The bullets flying inside a restaurant and outside. Damn. Well. At this South Shore restaurant, chaos and Bye. carnage. Relatives of those killed in tears and disbelief. Bye. I ain't it's going nowhere until they get my baby up off the ground. I ain't going nowhere. It was 4 p.m. when a man walked into a restaurant Damn. and opened see, fire. See, 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 see. We always joke. We always joke about getting get back. We always joke about back in blood. These rappers, and this is why I always, I always talk shit about the rappers because they, 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 they throw shit on the community. They promote killing and deaths in the community. If you don't believe me, listen to the lyrics. 
Like you listening to the beats, I'm gonna get it back in blood. Brr, brr. Like that's that's programming. The music is programming. The music is programming the people that's in those type of environments to kill. It ain't programming me. I shit, I ain't, I ain't grew up in the hood. I grew up with a mom and a dad. Nigga, I know right from wrong. You dig what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, nah, 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 hell nah, hell nah. I ain't got no ops. Ain't no opposition. Mm-mm. Only opposition I got is these damn bills. You hear me? I'm fighting back with these bitches with upload after upload after upload after uppercut after jab. Nigga, I'm hitting these bitches. But, <laughs> but nah, for real, like, we steady killing each other, bro. We steady killing each other. These rappers, they steady promoting the violence. They steady promoting the bull crap. And I just get on this reaction video and I just talk my shit. Like, I talk my shit. I speak how I feel. I say what's right and what's wrong. Straight up. Getting but like I was saying, though, like I was saying, for real, for real, we don't see the grandmothers and the mothers that's crying, the kids, the babies that's crying, the kids, the babies that are getting hit by the straight bullets. We don't see this. All we see is little Dirk saying he get it back in blood. All we hear is Pooh Shiesty saying brr, brr. But we don't see Pooh Shiesty crying, begging for bail, going to jail, in hell, in jail. We don't, we don't see that. You think them niggas want to be in jail? Look at Young Thug. He's fighting for his life. And he's going to get out. Because it's all part of the system. It's all... I keep trying to tell y'all. The labels are connected to the prison systems. The labels invest in the prison system. You think slavery is really abolished? No. Come on, man. Like, it is... Niggas Dean finding a dead man in front of the restaurant. They use it. They use us to kill and another each dead other, man bro. outside, slumped niggas against a tree a block away. <coughs> All four were shot to death, and come to find out, two of the victims were brothers visiting their mother who worked at the restaurant, Damn. and she had to listen to the sounds of her two boys being gunned down outside. Damn. Two people in the restaurant still in a dead. Damn. He went in there and shot them too. Damn. After he killed them too, he came out and shot my two nephews and killed my two nephews. Damn. Whoever did it need to step up. Ain't nobody seeing this shit, though. Ain't nobody seeing these traumatic events. Ain't nobody feeling this pain that the families are going through. This is fucked up. I'm the only YouTuber who's going to get on this shit and say this is fucked up. I'm the only nigga who gonna speak out against these fuck ass rappers who 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 promoting all the violence, but when they get into interrogation rooms, they fucking telling. They fucking selling. They claim it's for entertainment, but they are destroying our communities. So who else gonna say something? You expect the white people, yeah, they shouldn't promote nigga. I they say I give you a million dollars, but you gotta pay it back. And I put a life insurance on your ass just in case you die. And when you die, I get the life insurance plus the record sales. I ain't got to talk to nobody. Them niggas straight playing us. And we playing into their hands every time. Let me guess. You want to be a fucking rapper. Let me guess. You want to get signed by a white boy. Man, look. I'm not racist at all. I'm just telling y'all the real. These niggas out here waiting on another man. These niggas out here begging on another man. Like... I pray I get signed, bro. I pray I get signed, bro. All I want to do is rap. Nigga, nigga, go get a nine to five, bro. Go create content, bro. Go create a business, bro. Go use your mind, nigga. What fuck is we doing? And be bro? accountable for their actions and get Not set up for them before they get hurt out here on right. these streets. Cause somebody gonna hurt them. The brothers were identified as 19-year-old Raheem she and 20-year-old Dylan Jackson. The two other victims were identified as 28-year-old Emmanuel Stokes and 32-year-old Edwin Davis. Shit, crazy. The broad man. day slaughter would shake the city, and five G years Herbo would just sitting there rapping with him, bro. Shit, fuck that, announced man. an arrest. I'm proud to announce that we've made an arrest in the quadruple homicide that occurred quadruple, on the 2700 bro. block quadruple, of East 75th Street. And I ain't even speaking on Like I said, y'all can go watch the full video without any interruptions. I know y'all don't want to hear a nigga preach, but fuck y'all. Go watch it. If you don't want to hear me... If y'all don't want to hear this, then go watch the original video. But listen, bro, quadruple murder is crazy. Quadruple murder is crazy. And then 21 Savage got the nerve to say, you don't know how that person felt when he killed such and such brother. Or when he killed your brother, you don't know. I understand. I can kind of understand that part. But where I'm coming from is 
I'm telling my community to stay out of the area, stay out of the environment. So yo, you won't even put your brother, your sister, your daughter, your son in harm's way to even get hit by a straight bullet. These niggas telling you to stay in the hood. I'm telling you to get out the hood. 19-year-old Maurice Harris has been charged with four counts of first-degree murder in connection with this incident. This is his first arrest as an adult. And while I can't go into, into the specifics, into his extensive juvenile history, as we've seen too many times before here in Chicago, he's no stranger to CPD. Wet him Up was identified by photo lineup by multiple witnesses at the scene of the shooting. He'd be held without bond and remain in the deal. Cook County sad, Jail for man. the next three years until July of 2020. A court hearing would yet again shake the city as prosecutors announced the evidence was insufficient to meet the burden of proof. Who you think paid for the lawyer? G Herbo. Come on. Detectives man. further investigated. Ain't no way you beat the four witnesses bodies. weren't credible. Ain't no way you beat four bodies, get out, start rapping, and have a whole rap career. Ain't no way. And evidence that wet him up couldn't have been the shooter. So while the families of the victims expected wet him up's demise, all charges against him were dropped and wet was later freed. So the second word came that the man who beat four murders now had a switch. The feds quickly began their investigation. On his ass. Days after the search warrant, the feds would highlight two music videos by Wet, one titled Death Got and another titled Murder Man. Got him. In both songs, Wet recited lyrics about switches and murder. Got him. Multiple lyrics would be written into the federal complaint, although at no time was Wet seen possessing an actual really switch, police, just rapping about them. These niggas really be police. Jorge has always put These the niggas one. be police, bro. These niggas get on. How you beat four bodies? Get online and talk about it. You be charged with possession. You of can't tell me you're not the police. And now faces up to ten years in federal prison. With the quadruple murder being Wet's first adult arrest, and the fact that he beat all charges, they own his Wet ass. doesn't have much of a criminal history. They own his and ass. And luckily, still. wasn't a felon, dodging another federal offense. They own his Given ass his still. weak criminal history, Wet can expect anywhere from three to five years with a guilty plea. Now, wet him up is going to prison. When you get a fed case, it's pretty much sealed. And I mean, law enforcement literally watched him lean out of a window and throw a Glock up onto the roof. Then they went on the roof, found the Glock with a switch. It's like said and done at that point. Dumbass, it's man. just going to be a matter of how much time he gets. He can get up to 10. I don't really give a fuck, man. That nigga hurt families, man. I don't want to hear about how much time we saw it was man. him and detectives later found out that they weren't credible witnesses they were just most likely telling on their art who was wet him up whose father had just got killed so they are the ones that most likely gave the narrative to the investigators yo his dad just got shot he must have just slid for revenge we saw him at the scene and it took over three years to for him to beat that case which sounds like a lawsuit in itself because if you put me at the scene and got me charged with four murders because you said I was there and then it was proven I wasn't and I just had to do over three years in jail, how is that not a lawsuit? But push come to shove, smart enough. That's why. he got freed, he hit the streets, he started dropping music videos, he's talking about switches, ops, this and that. He's back in the bullshit, it doesn't- Another dumb nigga, bro. I'm tired of reacting to this shit. I got a minute left of this bullshit. My brain can't take no more. My brain can't take no more, y'all. Oh, you shouldn't talk about Chicago. Man, fuck Chicago. Man, fuck all that. Fuck Chicago. Fuck Chirac. Fuck all that, man. If y'all niggas out there killing the community, fuck y'all. Real talk. Ain't nobody else gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. If y'all out there trying to be a gangster, because you're not really a gangster. If you was real gangster, you would react to the police other than telling. You would react to the police how you re how you react to the community. When the police come, you all you on your knees, hands behind your back. Why you don't show that mercy to the community? Why you don't show that mercy to your to your brothers and your sisters? Why you don't show that mercy to to the granddads and the grandmas that houses that you shoot up? This shit gotta stop. Somebody gotta say something. I was taught if you see some shit and you just let it happen, you condoning it. I'm not condoning the bullshit. I'm gonna call it bullshit.
straight up. Catch y'all folks later, man. Next video. Peace.